you're looking to learn something specific about Power Apps and you've come to the right place. Let's get right to it. New forms. To be honest, if you're going to use forms, you're going to have a data entry screen. Um, you're going to use the same form control for edits and new records. So what they're doing is they're breaking down these concepts into separate screens. A lot of times you're going to have the same form allow the entry of new records as well as the editing of the existing records. So I just wanted to point that out. But let's go through these steps. Set items of the gallery 10 to filter where there's no country. Okay, so we'll go here. We'll use the filter function like we've learned in the past. So set country to equals nothing. So what they're gonna have us do is enter some new records and we're not gonna set the country, which means we're only gonna see the, the new ones that we're creating here on this screen. Um, I always like to put a border on a form like this. So I'll do that. All right, it wants us to set the data source to contacts. There we go. And it wants us to go into edit fields and uh, we're looking for full name and city. And just to let you know, you might deal at some point in the future where there are dozens and dozens or maybe hundreds of columns. So just know that you can use this search at the top here. City, there we go. So add those two. And also know while you're using a form, you can, if, if a particular field is something like a phone number um, or uh, multi-line text you can select one of these other things here okay I just wanted to mention that I'm gonna exit out of that so we've done uh, step number two step number three we're gonna add a, a save icon so I'm gonna add just any icon bring it down here go to add type in save we're gonna find the save icon that we would like all right and then on the on select right here we're gonna say submit form and the name of our form on this screen is new form one. And we're going to put a semicolon in there and then we're going to add another statement, which is reset form. And that reset form is going to get that form ready for yet another new record. So form one. And we need to add a new record to complete this exercise. So let's say John Doe city. We'll put in here New York. Click the save button and we're done. Did you know this is a part of a 20 part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? And if you liked this video, chances are you'll wanna check out the other parts as well. I'll put the links down below to the playlist for all the videos and also the main video as well. If you're looking for something specific, let me know in the comments. I read and respond to all the comments that are left on my videos, so be sure to let me know. If you found anything in this video helpful, we would really appreciate you click on that like button. Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can condense six months of Power App struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Apps Deep Dive Masterclass.